What was that, Serena? Did you say something? Hmm? No. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. Warned us already. You fool. Huh? Huh? Hm. Oh yeah? Well if I'm a fool, then what are you? <laughs> What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Didn't you? Something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the Queen before anything else strange happens. I mean, apparently I can hear it too. It just seems like just me and Veronica. Alright, let's just get the orb. Yeah, we'll figure it out, out later. Ah, excellent. You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. Stop what? Who is speaking? It's the book! The voice is coming from the book! Please! You have to listen to me! I am the real Frisabelle! The woman in front of you is the witch! What? Ridiculous! She's the witch, not me! Don't believe her lies! Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. <laughs> you might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. Oh, gosh. She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody, calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. Oh, thank Lord. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabelle. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabelle would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm. The orb, you say? Very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Mm. 
Precisely. The very words the royal I'm gonna say, I was like, the true treasure of Zephon is blue. She would not really give it to me like that. Queen Frisabel is the one in the book. No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. <laughs> again? Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> oh, I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. <laughs> My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. I don't know if that dungeon is really gonna prepare her from all that. Your Majesty. I don't what think that's really gonna stop doing? her. <laughs> Isabel, please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Uh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm, she seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. <laughs> Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, Pusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me, and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. 
Oh, Lord. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Hendrik, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such <coughs> a pretty little thing. Once again, for all you have done for me and my kingdom, the orb is yours to do with as you see fit. Oh, you finally got all the orbs now. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. All right. Our collection is complete now. We can head over there. Yeah, let's check out what David we got to say first. So What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. <laughs> What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Grip on trouble. <laughs> uh, Crevens! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Uh oh. Ooh, is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? 
I thought you said it was a spell book. <laughs> Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. <laughs> And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. <sighs> oh. <sighs> but, but, but wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. <laughs> <sighs> To Jiraiya and uh, Roshi at this uh, game. Humor in this game is, um, is something else. I can definitely say that. <laughs> well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? Miss Music, yeah. The OTS of this game, or Dragon Quest in general, is um, pretty nice. I would say above average, uh, for sure. These pictures, they're incredible. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here <coughs> is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <sighs> they are destined to help me. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, Okay, Neo Shake it. Don't worry about it. If you ever have to take care of yourself, uh, please do. But, hope you stay awesome today. And you have a uh, good rest you of your must day. defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Oh, we got one quest over here. Let me go ch check on it. Okay, 
Okay, there's two here in the city. Let's go ahead and accept them real quick. And the uh, first horse. Okay, that's where we're heading to, anyways. She's near the town, but she's not actually in the town. Okay. Let's do this. New enemies over here. Looks like complete inversions of each other. The blood bonnet and the goo boy. See how this goes. <laughs> Man, that was good. One thing I don't like about this game. What? What is that big ass dragon up there doing? Oh gosh! Alright, let's provoke it. The Eternal Serpent appears. So I'm pretty sure that it qualifies as a dragon, so let's go ahead and uh, you dragon slash on it. Dang! That's a lot of damage. Well, that was a joke. Victory! But that is quite a bit of experience for just one enemy. Definitely can say that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Woosh is really gonna help. Or Swoosh. Blunt do. Gotta figure it out. Oh, mini metal, nice. Cyclops. Let's do this. Definitely not the first time we see one. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't want to use Dragon Slash.
So I did a little bit of farming. Pie needlers. I think we already met these guys before. Steal item. Well, that was easy. Another one bites the dust. Finally, she learns multi heal. Definitely gonna be really helpful. How to do the undead? We already have that weapon, don't we? Victimizer is so powerful. Score one for the good guys.
Yeah, I'm trying to avoid them. But... I mean, they're not like they're any issue to us. It's just that it takes a little too long to. It's time consuming to take them on, you know? some sapphire I thought running into a uh, Let's go. would uh, still allow him to stay asleep, but apparently not. Oh my god, those extra limbs make it look so weird. Quite a bit of editing after this stream <laughs> when I'm trying to uh, port this over to my YouTube channel. Cap, nice. Definitely an item that we cannot purchase. So that's definitely useful for crafting purposes. I don't want to take these any more enemies on right now. These enemies take up quite a bit of time. Okay, that's the Rekale. But where are the enemies um, that's supposed to drop the, the the item that I need for? Wait. It's like a plant thing. They drop the uh, the items I would need for that quest. Oh, as soon as I said that. <laughs> the sprite bulbs, yep. Alright, I'll change the light up a little bit.
Oh, uh, I should have used. Try to use Sizzle, not Sizzle. Is my magic that weak? I should I crackle? I guess they resist a lot of magic. Helicopter dude. Wow, okay, they do. Yeah, they definitely resist a lot of magic. <laughs> but physical attacks, not so much. There it is, okay. And his name is John C. Oh, no, no, not Dragon Slash. The right bulb. I'm pretty sure that's the enemy that drops what we need. Right, let's see how Boom works. Too. Oh, he's still not dead. Dang. A lot of health. Yeah, Alright, finally we got the seagull we want. We're not gonna go back and um, complete those quests because we put them a little quite too far to turn back and we can't tell um, zoom over here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go. Uh, to the altar first. A blue dragon. <clears throat> and obviously that is a dragon, so Dragon Slash is gonna take significantly more damage. Victory! Alright, fuck this dragon as well. The thing about Dragon Slash is really, it doesn't really boost up Sylvando's sword attack um, as much as, you know, my cutting edge. Which is quite unfortunate, but what can you do? Pretty sure it resists fire. Oh wow, that did any, almost nothing. Ouch. Ouch. Alright. Oh. 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 
this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh. <laughs> my old bones. Oh. 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 Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> Me, what you are now? When you were children? <laughs> were you a child? Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? High priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? <laughs> the elf. Veronica. <coughs> hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time too? Uh, hmm. I, don't I don't know. know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. Oh, day, that's just <laughs> that's just rude. But I hope they do. I mean, you're twins after all. All right.